There are many different situations when playing Skyrim. Even though your character has to interact in such a situation, just standing still will interfere with your immersion. So today we've created an animated modding combination guide that lets your characters ultimately interact. This video is very helpful to you, so please watch it till the end. Activation animations or immersive interactions add interactive animations for various situations such as looting items, opening doors, unlocking items, and more. I chose this mod as the first mod to install because it adds animations in general in various situations such as looting, unlocking, opening doors, dismantling traps, etc. Even when looting, the interaction animations are different for looting from corpses, gathering in the wild, and taking objects out of boxes. Therefore, it is judged that the immersive has been strengthened through these various animations. I'm using activation animations, but depending on your preference, you can use immersive interactions. However, since the functions of activation animations and immersive interactions overlap each other, it is recommended to use one of them. Activation animations is also compatible with quick loot, so it's my favorite mod in many ways. While interactive animations are immersive and game-changing, looping animations can sometimes be tedious or frustrating. Please understand that I am impatient. I liked that activation animations was immersive rather than boring and stuffy. Perhaps the biggest advantage is that it is compatible with quick loot. Since it's a mod that works based on the Nemesis engine, you'll need the Nemesis engine. The eating animations and sounds mod adds interactive animations and sounds for food and drinking in Skyrim. The interactive animations and sounds of the eating animations and sounds mod are quite good and add to the immersion. The eating animations and sounds mod can also be used while sitting at tables and chairs. Animation works only with the player, not while jumping or swimming. You should definitely try the eating animations and sounds mod, especially if you're using a survival mod where you have to eat and drink to survive. Animated ingredients adds custom movement enabled animation when player is consuming ingredients. Since eating animations and sounds only adds interactive motion for food and drinking, it is recommended to use the interactive mode for ingredients together. In Skyrim, in addition to food and drinking, players often consume ingredients to refine alchemy, treat various diseases, or to obtain medicinal effects. In this case, if the character is standing still without interaction, it is not immersive at all. So, for this case, try the animated ingredients mod and upgrade your immersion. Animated Potions or ZX Slice's ultimate potion animation outputs an interactive animation when the player consumes a potion. Usually, when playing games such as Dark Souls or Elden Ring, when the player uses a potion, a drinking animation is output, but even using a potion in Skyrim, there was no such interaction animation. It is therefore recommended to add potion drinking interaction animations to players via Animated Potions or ZX Slice's Ultimate Potion Animation mod. For ZX Slice's Ultimate Potion Animation mod, it is scriptless and works based on SKSC and Nemesis. It is highly reliable because there are no scripts. However, in this mode, the animation is output only when a potion is hotkeyed, and it is not currently upgraded. Animated Potions is a mod recently created by creator Yuha. The animation quality is superior to ZX Slice's Ultimate Potion Animation mod, and the animation is output without specifying a hotkey, and the mod is still being upgraded by receiving feedback from users. However, because it uses scripts and ESP, the relative safety may be lower than ZX License's mod. Each mod has an advantage and a disadvantage to each other, so please consider this and choose one.
Animated poisons add an animation of poisoning real weapons when applying poison. These animations add a scene where real poison is applied to the weapon, making it clearer to the player that they are using poison on their weapon. It would be a good idea to install this as it will definitely be an essential element to improve player interaction. Animated Poisons mod available in third-person view and can only be used by players. EVG Conditional Idols mod is handmade unisex animations that only play in specific conditions, applying to the player and humanoid NPCs. Designed to be unintrusive, they simply replace animations when in the appropriate context using Dynamic Animation Replacer. Characters use context-specific interactive idle animations, such as covering their body when the player is naked, covering their head with a shield when wearing a shield when it is raining, or crouching when it is cold. These elements will increase your immersion even more, so please try them. Taunt your enemies mod allow you can taunt enemies. Also NPCs will get a bonus to their damage after taunting you, and you can also taunt them as well. You can use it by assinging the taunt hotkey in MCM and pressing the hotkey. Taunting comes with an animation and sound. And sounds differ per from race. Taunting an enemy gives you 25% more damage for 10 seconds, but leaves you open for an enemy attack. Pet the dog mod allows you to pet your dog by interacting with it. No need to press a separate key. You can pet the dog by pressing the interaction key. Very simple but immersive. Just pet the standing puppy once in a while. Of course, do not pet wild dogs or wolves. So far, this has been a modding tutorial video that gives an animation of the player's interaction. Of course there will be other cool mods that interact with the current player in addition to those mods. I hope this video will be helpful to you. Subscription like notification setting is very helpful for channel growth. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. See you next time.